Most people with asthma are not always experiencing symptoms. They will go through times when it's worse and other times when they feel perfectly well. Asthma can be classed as an inflammatory disease because the symptoms are present when parts of the respiratory system become inflamed. When looking in more detail, it's actually the bronchi and the bronchioles which become inflamed. As well as this, there are special cells and glands which produce small amounts of mucus normally. And this is normal for every human being, whether or not they suffer from asthma. However, in the context of people with asthma, the mucus glands can become swollen. The combination of swollen glands and the inflamed bronchi and bronchioles results in a narrowed airway. This can sometimes cause a wheezy or a chesty cough, which is the normal reaction to a narrowed airway. If you consider when you have a cold and there's extra amounts of fluid like mucus and phlegm in your airway, your body coughs it up to try and remove it. However, with asthma, it's actually the respiratory system inhibiting itself, so coughing does not normally actually help the problem. So far, we've only covered the typical everyday symptoms of asthma, but let's briefly now look at what actually happens during an asthma attack. As mentioned already, the airway of someone with asthma can be narrow simply by having the condition. However, during an asthma attack, the muscles within the bronchi and bronchioles actually contract, not just swell up, which further narrows the airway up to a dangerous point where adequate oxygen supply to the lungs can sometimes be compromised. Furthermore, the mucus secreting glands go into overdrive and produce an excessive amount of sticky mucus. Due to this, the airways are narrowed even further and make breathing a real difficulty.